Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest, cast 20 black or red spells. To accomplish this, to accomplish this, we're going to try out a new deck. I quite literally just built this this morning, right before starting to record this. Because, mainly because the um, the Lord of the Rings Rakdos deck is good. I like it. But I wanted to try something you know, not Lord of the Rings. So we have this. Now as the name suggests, Convoke is a... I wouldn't call it a central aspect, but it is fairly important. But it is important. Mainly because of City on Fire, which is extremely strong. You know, it's Technically, it's an 8 cost... Mana value of five colorless, three red. Convoke, but it's this is what it does. Convoke, if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or a player, it deals triple that damage instead. That is quite literally insane. This card right here is your win condition, without a doubt. Easiest way to get that card is by playing Hoarding Broodlord. Also, Convoke, flying. When Hoarding Broodlord enters the battlefield, search your library for a card. Exile it face down, then shuffle. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may play it. Spells you cast from exile have Convoke. So if you're having a hard time getting this card, if it's not in your hand, what have you, and you're able to get a Broodlord out on the field, you can grab City of Fire and boom. Yeah, but... You may be asking yourself, how are you going to take advantage of Convoke? Well, we have a fair bit of token generation with Gleeful Demolition. Destroy target artifact. If you control if you control that artifact, create three 1-1 one, one red Phyrexian Goblin creature tokens, all of which can be tapped for the Convoke condition. There's a few other things, like the Raven Man can, can do that. He can create tokens for you. Um other things that other things um so yeah that's the main thing we do have one ob nixilis just because you know why not and because you know for two you can create a one one red which is nice and with all the tokens you have you can easily sacrifice one of them uh to essentially have two obs on the field which is pretty cool pretty awesome so yeah that's pretty much the deck um let's just i like i haven't used it yet like i said i just put it together hopefully we can hopefully it'll work hopefully we can have some fun with it so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give this a try um yeah. hopefully i don't make too many mistakes <laughs> Haven't really used a whole lot of cards that have the convoke ability, so we'll see how this goes. I may not make the right decisions when I need to, but like I said, we will do what we can. Second one, eh? Let's get rid of one. That's fine. Yeah, I was taking the damage. Right now, so not that big a deal. Though going up against Mono Red may not be the best option just because of their. Yeah. Because of their um, removal capability. So. Yeah, our chances may not be.
No, oh, there's our city on fire. Yes. But again, we'll be taking that damage eventually. may or may not come in handy. We'll have to see. Good game. Oh, they have... Wait, what? Why? Why? What just happened? They have... <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess they were man... I guess they were mana starved. Neither of, those, neither of those cards are mana, I'm guessing. Okay. I mean, sure. I'll take it. But I'm very confused. I'm very confused, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, look look a gift horse in the mouth, as it were. I'll take the win. So let's try this again and see if we can actually get a win based on the deck itself instead of our opponent just saying, "Yeah, good game." I mean, arguably, yeah, I would have started setting up with uh, more and more creatures potentially, but I don't know. That, that was interesting. both have the, that's fine, we both have the same um, card sleeves. What does this do? Okay. See the I do see the benefit of that. Makes it um, increase in power twice as fast, which is nice. Jeez, okay. I should not. That was dumb. I should have attacked here. They would have lost. No, that was dumb. We really haven't used our Convoke ability 
just yet, but we haven't really needed it. We've been we've been very lucky. That's what I'll say. We have been very lucky with our um, with our matchups. So I'm I'm not gonna look that. I'm not gonna look. Yeah, I'm happy so far. Is what I'm trying to say. Though I really don't think it's because of this deck. Though, yeah. That's gross. Rusty Peach. Okay, sure, sure. Though we've been starting up with decent hands. Oh, seriously? They're gonna quit right there? Wait, why? No way, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna respond just because I, I'm not sure why they were saying good game there. Maybe they have nothing really else in hand they can use? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was completely spaced. I do apologize for that. I have to do all of them, right?
Are you? Oh, I should probably. I should probably get rid of you. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Share in my glory. Valor token type stuff is, yeah, no, that's, yeah, they've got me here. I don't have anything we can take out those guys quickly enough. And with how fast, if you notice, like, with how fast they're playing, this is a combo that they know by heart, that they know very well. So, if they decide to go all out attack, I'll just let them, because there's just too much going on here. Are they? They're not going to move really far, are they? So they're just going to not... Oh, everything's summoning sick. Oh, okay. You know, I think we're just gonna go ahead and concede right here. Just because I'm not I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> That's way, way too much going on. And yeah, we're not dealing with that. Yeah. So that last match was was crazy. But uh yeah. Just because I got I got kind of the weird feeling that they wouldn't have um I don't know. I was just getting I was like, ah, I don't really wanna deal with, with all that so so yeah <laughs> but anyway after we open up this pack we are gonna wrap it up so anything of real interest not really not really what is our rare or mythic forge a new apparently I've got this card but I've not seen it before um, what does it do when Ford Anu enters the battlefield, return target equipment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Makes sense. As long as it's your turn, you may activate equip abilities anytime you could cast an instant. Okay. 
you may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of the first equipped ability you activate during each of your turns. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Definitely a rare. But anyway, we are going to wrap it up here. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know. Um, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for when we post new content. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts about about this episode in the comment section down below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.